In the previous video we talked about using our Raspberry Pi as a server, specifically a web server. And we can go ahead and install all of the programs that we're going to need in order to do that right now. There are four basic things that you need for a web server, often referred to as a LAMP stack, with LAMP standing for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. There are other variations as well, if you wanted to use a different database for example, you're not restricted to specifically using MySQL. If you wanted to use Ruby instead of PHP for example, that's fine as well. But the stack part of it is the important part. To install all of the programs that we're going to need, we're going to need to type sudo apt-get install. And then we're going to first focus on the PHP aspect. We're going to want to install a couple of different packages. We're going to want to install PHP 5 as well as PHP 5 development. We're also going to want to install PHP 5 curl library. And we're also going to want to install the lib pcre3 dev library. So if we hit enter now, our Raspberry Pi is going to go through and install all of these packages for us. It's going to ask us if we want to add all of these packages which is going to take an extra 25 megabytes of space. And we do. And it's going to download everything for us, as well as install it. I'll speed this part of the video up, because this part can take quite a long time. But once that has downloaded, we can go ahead and install the next part of our process, which is Apache 2, which is the actual web server itself. To do that, we need to do the same command, so sudo apt-get install. And we're going to install Apache 2, as well as the lib apache mod php5 library. Apache 2 being the web server itself, with the additional library being additional features to ensure full functionality of PHP. Again, I'm going to speed this part of the video up because this part can take quite a while again. And once that's installed, we can move across to our final part of the process, which is installing MySQL. To install MySQL, we do the same command again, so sudo apt-get install and we're going to install MySQL server as well as PHP 5 MySQL and this will install the server for us as well as the drivers required for PHP 5 to actually interact with the SQL server. Again this part of the process can take quite a while and so I'll speed this up again. Once the process is complete, we can go ahead and test whether this has actually been installed successfully or not. And to do that, all we need to do is navigate to the IP address within our browser. And we can see that the install is successful because we actually see something. We can go ahead and check that PHP is installed properly as well. And to do that, all we need to do is to change directory to var slash www. And we can create a new file, which we will call index.php. And all we're going to type is php info. Exit the file. Yes. We need to do that with the correct permissions. So for now we will just use sudo to do this. And if we head back across to our browser and refresh our page
we shouldn't have had that underscore in there. But we can see that obviously PHP is working properly. And if you want to, you can of course go through and ensure that all of the packages are installed properly as well. In the next video we're going to look at installing Java so that we can compile programs directly on our Raspberry Pi itself. And this will allow us to actually deploy programs to our Raspberry Pi rather than compiling them on our computer and then distributing them that way. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that.